Here we are at RE Plus 2024, starting it off with end phase right in the beginning with their mobile training mobile. They got the end phase 5P out there. Super cool to see them here again, always at the forefront of the renewable space, especially at the RE Plus convention. I feel like they always have that space. They've had it reserved year over year. And guess what? This is the 20th anniversary of the RE Plus convention. Now, RE Plus used to be called SPI, Solar Power International. It kind of rebranded itself as RE Plus. This carport, side little note, those are batteries and inverters inside those side podiums. I don't know what to call them. Stands, just kind of just shocked at some of the stuff here and trying to take it all in and help you get a good experience for it as well. But we're just walking down the blue lane, entering, trying to get to, you know, the renewable kingdom is how I kind of laid it out with the terms of the music. Uh, this is Jeremy Blake, Power Up. So we got Span here with our mobile trailer showcasing that system's kind of designed off grid for their mobile trailer. It's got solar batteries. They got some really good energy management solutions. Home automation is a big thing in the renewable space and we've developed the technology to be able to implement it in new and meaningful ways to electrify our homes in a better way. SMA America is here, out here. Now, I chatted with them for a little bit, but I had an interview with Fronius USA and got a good up close look at their new Gen 24 inverter. Now, Fronius USA, I gotta give you guys prop because the engineering of that heat sink was beautiful. I was kinda bummed you had to put a cover over it because it's so or just looking really well engineered. Definitely check out the interview when it's published. Be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Click that little bell icon so that way you can stay informed on things related to renewable energy, whether that's electric vehicles, which we had a lot of those types of EV chargers here, storage, commercial, tracking, utility, residential. There's so much going on. Look at this entrance. This is beautiful isn't this exciting isn't this overly inviting i guess it's not overly inviting but it's so inviting this is where the like-minded people are coming together gathering to brainstorm to collaborate to work collectively to change the world because it can't be changed by one man or woman it requires a group of individuals to change the world and make a meaningful impact that's what's being achieved here at RE Plus every time you attend one of these conventions. I'm super excited to be able to show this to you in a new medium, right? No one's really filmed a convention like this in a 360 camera to give you an experience like you've never had before. Now walking through the doors of the convention center, Amy is over here dragging around all of our stuff because I just had so much gear. I'm an over-preparer when it comes to trying to film for an event. I just wanted to make sure I had everything I needed to cover the event and, and get as much information and knowledge and, and feedback as I could in any way possible. So you got to give it up for the Solar Energy Industries Association. They're a pretty big sponsor with RE Plus, if I'm not mistaken. You see all these people collaborating. They're coming together. They're so excited to see each other. You always see it. You're going to see a lot of people hugging because they haven't seen each other in probably six months to a year. Sometimes it's this event that brings us together and you get to see friends that you don't typically get to see. You get to see colleagues you don't typically get to see on an everyday. It, it's, it's beautiful. It really is. It's a wonderful space to be in. If you're looking to get in, into an industry that is filled with so many amazing people of all types, of all levels, check out the renewable industry. 
So right off the bat, we got BYD. This is a massive booth. They got this cool little multi-dimensional cube on the corner. They got some utility, commercial stroller, and then we did our interview over there because the Fronius USA Gen 24 inverter is compatible with the BYD HVM battery. So you're definitely gonna wanna check out that interview. But like I said, there's a lot to see here. Now this is the main strip. We're going from Hall A all the way through Hall D, and this is the main floor. There's actually three levels to this exhibit. It's enormous, and they had a lot of cool things going on that I, I didn't get to attend everything. They had theaters and all sorts of stuff to explore and learn from. I, I, I'm really just stoked to be able to have attended and to be able to network and meet with so many people and to collaborate with so many people. It's a lot of fun. And there's a lot of beer gardens out here. Now, I would hope maybe next year, there's some wine gardens because some of us, <coughs> me, are allergic to beer. So as much as I would love to go socialize with everyone at some of those points, it's a little hard for me because I'm just drinking water and you get to kind of relax and have a beer. But hey, maybe we can get some wine on tap right out the barrel. Now, there's quite a few hybrid inverter products. There's generator products here. And you wouldn't think generators would be in the sustainable space, but they are. You still need generators. You're going to see some micro turbines and some other things. There's some Eagle modules. Siemens was here. I believe they had three booths in total. And I was super stoked to cover their booth down on the E level because they had this awesome fire suppressant technology that is using nitrogen and it's intended for commercial utility storage containers. And the purpose of the nitrogen, instead of using water or some other fire suppressant uh, liquid, the nitrogen chokes the oxygen, freezes the components, prevents any arcing from continuing to occur. And then after a certain amount of time, you can go in there and replace the battery module. We don't foresee a lot of fires in the battery space, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared for it. So it's really good to see Siemens doing something like that. In my conversation with them, it sounded like they had deployed it in, back in 2018 in Europe, and now they're bringing it over to the US. They started offering it last year. So it's definitely something worth exploring. AP Systems, have an interview with them. Definitely want to check them out if you're looking for an alternative microinverter to end phase, especially in the commercial space. AP has been doing it for several years in commercial. Now, Green Tech, got to give them a shout out because they're one of the nation's largest distributor of solar and electrical technology, making it possible for contractors to install the equipment. So Solar Edge over here, massive booth, really awesome. Love networking with these guys, love talking to them. And they launched a new stackable, scalable battery. You're gonna need to check out the video. Be sure to be subscribed to see that video when it's published. Now, I will be doing a more in-depth thing on Solar Edge later on in the month. So you don't wanna miss it. Q-Cell, REC, my two favorite solar panel manufacturers, side by side, doing great things in the renewable space. Q-Cell actually launched an AC module, so it has its built-in microinverter that they developed in-house, so really cool. Definitely want to explore that more, so that way we really understand things to the fullest. We have some modules made here in the US, but that's what you're gonna see a lot from this year's event. A lot of domestically manufactured solar panels, inverters, and batteries. I mean, there's just so much going on here in America, which is phenomenal because that's creating jobs. And it's also actually more cost effective for most of these organizations because of the tariffs and the IRA, that Inflation Reduction Act, 
allowed an additional 10% of a tax credit to be passed on for uh, consumers that get most of their system that's installed made in America. So that means the racking, the inverters, the panels. I think it's like 75%. See, Trina Solar out here again. We had some hydrogen technology. This is a 4.4 megawatt modular inverter container. It's freaking crazy. This is, this is amazing to see this. And then we need it because there's a gap between large scale utility and residential, and it's commercial. We need commercial solar in storage for the infrastructure to help balance it out between the two. We have residential, small, and then you have large scale utility. You need the guy in the middle, and that's gonna be the commercial space. So it's great to see a lot of commercial products. Now, you can see there's roof tech. I love seeing these guys at the events. They're always in these bright red suits with these giant baseball hats. Great group of guys, um, always fun to talk to. Strongly encourage you to check out their technology. Now, I had an interview with K2 Systems, which is an industry leading racking manufacturer, and they developed a new multi-clamp for their existing railing, their future railing, and it's backwards compatible with their past generation railing. That is really cool to see. And they minimize the components needed for that multi-clamp, which was really nice to see because sustainability is about making our resources go as far as they can. And they did a great job with developing that multi-clamp. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on that interview. It's already live on their YouTube channel. So check out K2 Systems US. And then of course, when we publish ours, you're gonna to want to be subscribed so you get notifications to check out our version of the interview that we kind of clip down to kind of give you the snippets of the best of the best of our conversations now there is a building integrated photovoltaic module right here on this roof over here that's a composition shingle roof really cool definitely dug this little green earthy display on the solar panel really cool another large battery system 2.5 megawatts five megawatt hours of storage. That's 5,000 kilowatt hours of energy, right? A power wall is 13.5 kilowatt hours. So it's a lot of power, a lot of storage. And here's some more of it, CPS, power plot. You got Trina Solar in the commercial space. They've been in the commercial space for a really long time. They're a very popular solar module. You got some more solar panels made in the United States right here, Silfab, great panels at the end of the day. I mean, if you got a booth here, you've got a great product because if you didn't have a good product, you wouldn't be here period end of story it's it's really that straightforward and what we saw was a lot of software a lot of ev chargers level two level three a lot of storage containers there's just so much to take in and um, try and explore in just three days it really needs to be like a month I feel and open to the public after a certain amount of time. Mission Solar over here, America's module company. Cool to see them 100% out at this event. I, like I said, a lot of American made products and it's great to see that. This is an all black battery system. You don't see that too often. Usually it's white or gray. And then we have a cleaning product over here on the right so or your left depending on where you're at on your 360 camera which if you didn't know you can move it around now this product in the front was this little buoy that you could attach solar panels to and put them out on a lake pegasus solar those guys are great really trying to be innovative and figure out how to reduce the number of components on the roof in terms of attachments that's really innovative with what they've put together with their skip rail. Now, K2 Systems, from my understanding, in our interview, you want to check it out. Sounds like they are also working on similar things because the more components we can reduce while maintaining the integrity of the rack is of great value because that's making our resources go further, which is really sustainable at the end of the day. 
So look at all this. This is this is amazing. This is so much amazing products to be seen. And I hope you're really enjoying it for your experience of this convention. And I hope more of these become available to the public. I would love to see something like the LA Auto Show for the solar industry. You got Tail Sun right here. That's a 440 watt fat boy module. And then that's a large 590, 600 watt commercial panel. It's crazy to see the different dimensions, but that's usually why commercial is a higher wattage. It's because it's a larger panel, a little bit harder to install on a residential. And sometimes when I'm referring to commercial, I'm also referring to utility. But in most cases, utility are using tracker racks like this one over here by Peru. And that means it's just tracking the sun the whole day to ensure it captures the most sunlight all the time. A lot of software manufacturers were out here. Aurora was out, Aurora was out here, which is phenomenal for sales and design. It was interesting that there wasn't anything that stood out to me for a complete CRM for contractors. I do feel like that's a missing gap in this space is you have great sales and design tools, but you don't really have great like CRM tools to help you manage your clients at the end of the day. This was like a cooling rack for like a server station. Canadian Solar was out here, of course, and more utility scale storage. Like that's pretty cool to see that. In some cases, if you're at a level three DC charger, you'll probably see battery packs from places out here at this event. Longi is out here. A quick note on Canadian Solar. I believe some of their modules are being manufactured out of Texas now. So that's really cool to know um, with that manufacturer. And of course they have their EPQ. Coming back on another angle on Solar Edge. Now I've been talking with Solar Edge for several years about my idea of them opening their optimizer up to everybody else in the industry. To me, that would take their $20 a share stock to $200 a share because everyone needs an optimizer in America. It needs to be attached to every single panel because of the safety that goes with it. It's not just optimizing and give you visibility into how the panel's performing, but it really is providing safety and, and simplifying the installation for contractors. And I really feel they have the best optimizer in the industry. I've tried them all. I've tried Dico. I've tried AP Systems. You know what? I don't have anything against them, but no one does it as good as Solar Edge. And honestly, the failure rate of those optimizers that I've experienced in the last 10 years is incredibly low, probably less than one per year. Now, Solar Edge has had a hard time with their inverter technology. There's a lot of great inverter manufacturers out in the industry. Why not be like Volvo? Not make your product free, but make it accessible to everyone to have your technology on their roof. You want a Fronius USA Gen 24 inverter with Solar Edge optimizers? Yes, you can do it. You want a Tesla Powerwall 3 with Solar Edge optimizers? Heck yeah, we can do it. And then what about, I mean, a Schneider electric inverter? You can do it with the Solar Edge optimizer. It blows my mind that their optimizer is exclusive to them. To me, the features could become unlocked if you want Solar Edge's optimizer. Now you get that whole ecosystem with their hybrid inverter and their stackable battery. You're gonna wanna check out that video. But man, that would be an amazing thing for Solar Edge. I think that would be a game changer for the entire industry if Solar Edge would allow other manufacturers to install their optimizing. PV labels, you need that. Look at these building integrated photovoltaic modules over here. Really cool. I can't tell if they're composition shingle or tiles like Tesla's. Now, I did check out Tesla's booth. They do have the expansion battery. They did not have their Tesla solar tiles. And I'm kind of bummed because I do want to see the Tesla solar tiles succeed. I would like to see more building integrated photovoltaic modules succeed in the renewable space. The problem is 
the optimizer. We go back to Solar Edge. Oh my goodness. Well, it really comes down to the bypass dials. So a lot of people don't realize there's bypass dials integrated into solar modules. So when parts of a panel get shaded, it actually doesn't affect the rest of the array as much. And the optimizer helps with this even further by taking it up another level with the bypass dials. And if you could have a micro optimizer connected with building integrated photovoltaic modules, now we're talking, now you have something that makes sense. Right now, those types of products are really expensive. Adding an optimizer to that is also going to add cost. Part of the problem with building integrated photovoltaic modules is you have a lot of them. So if one stops working, it's not just a matter of narrowing it down to a string, which you can do that, but you get, you're pulling apart the roof. Tesla has probably one of the best engineered racking systems for the solar tiles that they developed. That's really what I feel they spent most of their time engineering. And they've been trying to get that solar tile to work in a more meaningful way. And I am hopeful that they'll get it and figure it out. Maybe it'll finally occur because the optimizer becomes available for them to integrate it into it. Because that's really going to change it. When you have building integrated photovoltaic modules with optimizers attached to them, then you get this 3D model of your home and you see all the solar across the roof in a really, really nice way. Iron Ridges here, I really do like their products. Make solar stronger. I love that slogan, but you know what? I love what K2 Systems is doing with that multi-clamp. You're gonna wanna check out that interview because again, it comes down to making our resources go as far as they can. We had the central storage center over here. That theater had a lot going on about current storage technology, future storage technology. There's just so much going on at the end of the day with the renewable space. And RE Plus putting this together 20 years, yes, 20 years to create a better life for people. That's what's going on at RE Plus 2024. And I have given you a 360 degree tour of this event. Now we're coming up to another beer garden, which again, I'm allergic to beer. It used to just be IPAs, but now it's kind of expanded to Pilsners and lagers. So I really just got to stick with wine. So hopefully next year they got wine on tap. I'd love to see Opus sponsor an event, Omega sponsor an event, maybe some other California wines. Support local wineries. Please don't go with like some cheap mass produced wine i'd really appreciate it that's just my tidbit ever bright over here for leasing and ppa which is a big part of the next generation of renewables and you got solar wrap sales rabbit great platform that was a micro turbine over there from wolong if you didn't see that kind of rewind and check that out and then aurora this is a pretty robust platform sales and design and a lot of companies use Aurora because it is a really good tool. I do like it. I've tried it out with some of the EPCs that I work with. I use that tool for some of the proposals. And is it better than Open Solar? Ah. I like open solar with how it's configured and its presentation style. Um, you know, Aurora's got its own perks as well. But, you know, I think if you haven't checked out open solar and you're a sales guy, you definitely should because it's pretty cool. Have another theater over here, some great speakers talking about some great things, going down another aisle, lots to explore, as you can tell. And we kind of overlap some of the booths you know because these are really big booths they, they're pretty big some of them are just taking up like a whole block it feels like I believe we walked over 16,000 steps on the first day and pretty close to that on the second day man my my body was just definitely feeling it on the third day um, my knees are pretty beat up from skateboarding uh, so too much walking can definitely affect me. And then the food that I'm eating, it's kind of hard when you're really 
cut down a lot on unhealthy foods. So that helps keep down inflammation. My, my wife does a phenomenal job, Amy. She does a great job. Point Guard. Oh, wait, we got a sidetrack. Point Guard is a product I've been following. I did an interview with the CEO. Definitely going to want to check it out because it has a bi directional EV charger integrated with their stackable design. Here's a DC EV charger over there, a pretty big one from HyperStrong. Really cool to see that. Of course, you got BYD again. That's where we filmed with Phonius at that booth. Definitely going to want to check it out when it's published. I mean, there's just so much here. But what I was getting at well, on, on the health aspect is, you know, when I eat too many, like, bad oils, like if it's not olive oil, basically, anything else but olive oil, but vegetable oils and, and seed oils, it, it does affect my joints. And I notice that I get more inflammation. I swell up a little more. Those are things that I've cut out of my diet and it has helped me lose weight. I was significantly overweight. Well, I wasn't significantly overweight, but I was definitely overweight, wasn't happy with my health. And, you know, Amy and I got on uh, a health kick and she's always been a health freak. I mean, she was uh, a personal trainer for many years and, you know, to apply that. And uh, I'm pretty stubborn with working out. So I do like a five minute workout if that, but, Anyways, we're here to talk about the RE Plus convention and, you know, sustainable living is part of our health, right? Everything we're doing here helps us live a better life, helps us farm better food, helps us produce better food, helps us have cleaner air to breathe for our lungs. Hoy Miles is another microinverter manu manufacturer like AP Systems and Enphase, though they, just like AP Systems, have microinverters that are multi-purpose, so you can connect multiple modules to one. Franklin Whole Home, gotta give those guys props for their UFO and the new A Power 2. I will be doing a full-length video on that product blown away by what those guys are achieving over there if you're not familiar with franklin hold home you definitely want to check out their product and consider it if you're looking to retrofit to your existing solar system or make the switch to clean renewable energy here's that k2 booth and they had so much on display a lot of great products really innovative over at their booth again i had a great interview with them you're gonna want to check it out and then hopefully by the time um, maybe in the next couple weeks we will have an interactive version of their booth available for you uh, we are working on that it's pretty extensive with the video editing trying to shoot things in 360 and then of course edited it down you have this cool uh, guy over here the sun that guy is so awesome we got between the two Siemens booth like I said Siemens have three booths here these are the two upper level ones and then they had one down below on the E level which really should have been on the first floor because that fire suppressant system was a big deal in my opinion using nitrogen they had home automation technology smart circuits and it sounded like it was universal so you would be able to connect it to just about any solar and battery system jackery was here so any of you nomad kind of guys diy guys you're gonna wanna probably check out their product because, you know, they're doing stuff. But there's also Blue Eddy, and there's also another brand I can't think of. There's like three main Nomad kind of products with those mobile generator batteries that are kind of expanding into the residential space. UL had their booth here, which is important for us to have consistency and certifications from modules to racking to inverters and ensure everything's safe from start to finish for everyone. Of course, you had the Iron Ridge booth, make solar stronger. They had their air rack out on display. They do have a good product, but I think K2 might be doing it a little bit better by considering their components and reducing as much of the manufactured components as they can uh, with that multi-clamp. I really do like multi-clamps and any manufacturer that uses one or has developed one, 
I think there's a lot of positive feedback from the industry with those products. So another great conversation going on over here and then more clean energy products on the other side. I mean, there's just so much. This guy is riding a bull right now. This is a cool little thing at a booth. We're doing pretty good. Oh, oh man. <laughs> He did pretty good. Woo! That was great. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the RE Plus 2024 convention. I can't do it without your support of the channel. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and family. And if you're considering making the switch to clean renewable energy, please consider utilizing my consulting services. I'm a home improvement salesperson, specialize in California, but I have partners in Arizona, Texas, and Florida. And I'd love to help you make the switch to clean renewable energy and really achieve a means of life that's sustainable. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.